Okay, this is our um, Fluid Pro Donut Puller, also known as a sling puller to some. And uh, if you have the overall perspective here, we have a diesel engine power unit, uh, a reels set, a control panel that's in the uh, weatherproof enclosure there that we'll look at closer in a moment. Uh, we have a holdback winch and a static line and then at the very back is a large cylinder uh, that has a hollow bore down through the center of it. On the other side of the trailer there's a pipe rack uh, that's used for holding uh, tools and pulling rods uh, and so on. Uh, let's go a little bit closer, we'll look at the control panel first. Um, this is a weatherproof enclosure and uh, once we open it up Everything the operator needs is right there. We have the uh, LOFA panel for the engine control. Um, emergency stop, which shuts everything. Uh, throttle, a couple of pressure gauges. Uh, control handle for the large cylinder. And then we have a tonnage gauge here, uh, which is redlined at the 200 ton uh, max. And then we have a tonnage adjustment uh, here and then some uh, auxiliary controls for the reels and uh, for the uh, winch. If we move over to the power unit, we have a lockable uh, electrical master disconnect uh, here. And uh, we typically use a Deutz diesel engine. Uh, this particular one is a 46 horse, uh, three cylinder, uh, naturally aspirated. Um, has a life of thousands and thousands of hours and a very compact uh, design. This is a current uh, T3, uh, tier 3 and uh, tier 4 intermittent compatible, uh, compatible uh, with the EPA in all 50 states. Uh, one of the features that we have uh, that's an option on this unit is uh, right here we have a butterfly valve in the air intake so that uh, if the engine were to sniff uh, flammable gas uh, or for any other emergency reason you need to shut it down this will positively uh, turn the engine off. Um, while we're up here at the front of the trailer uh, we'll just note this is a trailer that we build it's oil field tough. Uh, we have a toolbox up front here um, that's lockable and uh, we have a heavy duty jack and an adjustable pintle, pintle hitch. Uh, if you look back towards the fenders and the axles, uh, the fenders are 3 16th uh, tread plate, uh, pretty tough, 6,000 pound axles and uh, we've had the best luck with 14 ply tires which is what this unit uh, has on it. Let's look a little closer at the power unit. I'm going to climb up on here and come on up here, pull and roll. We have a latch here that we can open for maintenance. Um, we have diesel fuel tank, hydraulic tank, and um, there is uh, free access right here and an easy to change oil filter. Uh, loosen four bolts, um, pull the element out from the top so there's no spilled oil um, when you're doing the uh, routine maintenance on this unit. Uh, oil dipsticks right here, um, everything's accessible from right here. Uh, easy oil fill on top and um, uh, it's made to work on. We also have a lifting eye up here that uh, you can lift the power unit off the trailer with if you need to do that. The reels here you note are fairly large diameter. Uh, we used to make a much smaller diameter reel and we found that uh, if we went with the larger diameter and did not exceed the minimum bend radius on the hose, the hose lasts uh, a whole lot longer. And uh, we have a uh, pressure relief valve um, 
in the center of the pedestal there just above the winch and what that does is that cuts the pressure down to the power retract on the reels uh, so that it's not a danger to personnel. Uh, we adjust the pressure so that uh, one individual can hold the hoses back and uh, so if somebody gets tangled up in it uh, it's not going to be a catastrophic uh, issue. The uh, hold back winch goes through a pulley and pulls on the center line of the cylinder and uh, so the uh, winch of course will hook on to the two large ears on either side of the cylinder, uh, lift it up and put it over the well head and uh, so the uh, Deployment of the cylinder onto the onto the well is fast and easy. Our uh, design parameters were uh, that you need to be able to back up to the well site, unload the cylinder, pull a donut, uh, put everything back on the trailer, and be out of there in 30 minutes. And so that's what this system enables you to do. While we're here to back the cylinder, we have a. Uh, in through the uh, base plate. Uh, should mention too that this right here is actually the cylinder base plate that holds the hydraulic oil. The uh, base plate on the very bottom is a sacrifice plate. If it gets dinged up, it's easy to replace and uh, put another new one on without uh, being detrimental to the cylinder itself. If we climb up on the trailer here, be able to see that there's a hollow door inside the cylinder so your pulling rod goes through there and uh, we have a six and three eighths diameter hole uh, through the inside of the cylinder. Uh, we have uh, double swivels uh, here and another swivel down at the bottom so it's not necessary to disconnect any hoses uh, doing this job. You simply unreel them uh, with the cylinder and then reel them back up uh, with the power uh, hydraulic retractable reels. Uh, right down here on the floor we have a couple of uh, pins uh, that you can put uh, uh, bowls uh, over and uh, then on the other side, we've already mentioned about the pipe rack where we keep the pulley rods. As we go around the trailer, um, these uh, pins here are removable so that if you have a fairly heavy pulling rod laying on here, you just roll it off into the trough and then pull it out the back and there is a door here that opens uh, with the latch uh, that uh, allows you to pull the pulling rods <coughs> out from the back uh, as well. Uh, like I said before, heavy duty trailer, quarter inch floor, uh, cross members very close together. Uh, oil field uh, built to um, take the test of time. That's pretty much it for a walk around. Let's go over and we'll fire it up and uh, let you see the operation of it. The note here on the control panel that we have a, um, one electric switch that um, <coughs> moves us from a setup mode to operate mode. In the setup mode, the reels and the winch will work, but the cylinder will not work. When we go to the operate mode, then that cuts out um, the winch and the reels, and then the cylinder will work. There's also a safety uh, release here where you have to pull this up against spring tension before you can activate um, the control valve. Obviously that's for safety so that uh, you can't bump it and in a, inadvertently um, um, move the cylinder when uh, it wouldn't be beneficial. Just to start it up, 
Um, very simple operation. Turn the key on, wait a second or two. We have a throttle here. Okay, that concludes our walk around for the Fluid Pro 200 ton uh, donut puller. Thank you.